If you have kids heading off to college, you might be worried about how they'll handle their finances once they're on their own. So Pam Kruger is host of PBS's Money Track, and she's here with some important money management tips. A big topic of discussion this time of year as kids head off mm -hmm. to school or back to school, get those credit cards for the first time. Uh, you say one of the most important things, I mean, we hear about budgets. Budgeting is very important. How do you make a budget the right way? You know, it's all about setting yourself up for success and, by the way, taking the stress out of the whole discussion because, let's face it, you're going to have to talk about money, yep. whether it's now or whether it's later as their career goes on. So, making a budget, keep it super simple. The idea is to sit down at the table with This is your how much you have. This is exactly. how much you can spend. This might be the first opportunity, think about it, that the parent has to really explain to the, to the child, this is how much money we can afford to help you uh, spend, and this is what we don't have. So honesty is big. On the part of the student, being realistic yeah. about what you're really going to be spending your money on, be it sports, be it uh, you know, coffee, drinks, manicures, what are you really going to spend your, you know, your fun money on? So if we're being realistic, we can do the math. And so we break it down, right? So we take a year, they're in college, let's say for 10 months out of the year. Yeah, call it 10 months, exactly. Divide how much they can do right. or you, how much they can spend over those 10 months. You want to take the money that, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have had graduation gift money, savings toward college, these are expenses above and beyond two tuition and room and board. So call it $4,500, say, for 10 months. Divide that by 10, what do you get? $450 a month. That's your budget. Right. That's what you have to live on, to spend money on every month. And then you go back up to your expenses and make sure that you're realistic. And if you're not, right. that's where you're going to find that you're way off. Let's talk credit cards, because a lot of kids oh, want yeah. credit cards when they go off to college. What do you do about credit cards? Well, look, this is interesting. 84% of college students right now on campus are walking around with a credit card in their wallet right now. And then when they graduate, they have an average of $4,100 in oh, debt. Staggering number. So making sure that your child doesn't use credit the wrong way and actually uses it to build a credit history is absolutely key. I recommend start with a debit card for the first three months. Remember that budget we just built? Yep. The way the debit card is going to help you stay on track is you're going to see your spending, but you can only spend what's in your checking account by using a debit card, then apply for a credit card. So in the first three months, the debit card, then move into the credit card, but one only, you're saying. As far as watching their spending goes, because parents don't want to be snooping necessarily, but how do you make sure they're not <laughs> spending too much? You know what I say? As a condition on, on my giving you money to, to my student, to my child, I have to be able to sit down with you, say, once every couple of months and watch those kids' accounts online. Almost every bank, every credit card allows you to go online and monitor spending. And, and that's what you want to do. And then you want to maybe have a meeting by phone, maybe, you know, just once every couple of months and check in to make sure you're tracking because you don't want this to get out of control. The whole idea is to build a solid credit history for the future. And let's face it, a lot of times, Right. Pa parents are not so good at managing their own Exactly. Budgets. So those meetings are very important. We should mention right. the one final point is setting up the auto bill pay. Pam Kruger from PBS's Money Watch, thank you very much for helping us out with thank this. Thank you. And good luck to all those parents out there. <laughs>